course I want to get married. I'm a girl still. I might be a lesbian, but I'm still a girl. <laughs> the hot lesbians stick with other hot lesbians. You know, the girly ones stick with girly ones. And you know, I want, I want, I want one of them. I haven't had a boyfriend in like four years. Hello. That part of me is obviously just like covered in dust. <laughs> 27-year-old computer science graduate and neonatal nurse Becca is no slouch in the brains department, but her love life is in need of some TLC. How are you? Oh, how are you? Good, thank you very much. You're looking fantastic. <laughs> thank you. Really good. I've never had a guy think it's sexy or anything that I'm a nurse, ever. Hey, uh, how are you? I'm great. Good. If you actually see us in the morning and we're putting on compression stockings but you don't want your feet to swell up. It's not as sexy as it might picture it to be. You tell me I haven't got a hospital full of dashing doctors to, to go after either. I haven't come across any. I'm looking for someone that's good fun, interested in the same things as me, which is science, anatomy and physiology and all that type of thing. Sometimes I don't want to go out at all, I want to stay in and like watch documentaries or something. Move over, Einstein. Matching Becca in the brains department is technology salesman John. If you put the lifetime of the universe into 24 hours, we've only been around for a second. Mm. That's thought-breaking. How are you? Good, thanks. Yeah. What's your name, please? John. John. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Good. Nervous. First dates are my biggest fear. I'm really bad at them. You can usually tell if I fancy someone if I start clamming up and can't speak. Come through. Lovely girls waiting for you. I like petite girls. I'd usually say blondes. I think I quite like girls that are a little bit quirky, actually. How are you? Hi, I'm very well, nice thanks. Nice to meet you. John, nice to meet you. Becca. Becca. Yes. It sounds like you're not originally from here. I'm from Galway. Have you ever been? I haven't actually been to Ireland. No. Ever? No, I've never been from? to Ireland. Um, I'm just from Kent, so just outside. Oh, OK, yeah. About to move, though to uh, Richmond area. OK, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Richmond's good. Would you like to follow me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. The pressure of meeting someone from nothing, they don't know anything about you and everything that you're saying they're judging you on. I don't feel like it is a time to completely be yourself. I don't watch TV or anything like that. I don't like normal things. Yeah. But I love David Attenborough. Oh, David Attenborough. <laughs> you know he, live, he lives in Richmond. Oh, really? Yeah. So does um, David Beckham actually sometimes. Yeah, David Beckham. David Attenborough, David Beckham. I'd, I'd suck off David Beckham. I'd turn gay for David Beckham. So, OK. You can see why I'm shit on first days. How are you? Très bien, merci. Et vous? Ça va, très bien. Je suis étudiant de votre langue. Ah, oh, très bien. Et vous venez d'où? Originalement, je suis iranienne. Très bien. This is 64-year-old toy and novelty entrepreneur Ali. He's conquered the business world, but is less lucky in love. I'm an inventor of toys. Are you? Yeah. I would say people would probably know me best for a game consisting of a Velcro hat. How does it work? It's a hat you wear and people throw balls that stick to it. Uh-huh. Shall we play? Are you put it on? It doesn't go with what I'm wearing. No, no, it's all right. You are cramping my style, Fred. Oh. Oh. If women don't go for this, I don't know what they will go for. Merci. Merci. Bon courage. <laughs> You know, they say, I love you in French, it's je t'adore. Je t'adore. Je t'adore. My favourite word's amour, or amore. What is that, though? Amore, maybe Spanish or Italian. I thought it was Italian, if I'm honest, but... Ich liebe dich. It's I love you in German. Yeah, that's not that nice. That sounds like you're angry at me. <laughs> so, what do you usually eat? I might just be boring and get a steak. I feel like you're very, um, reserved. Reserved? No, I'm just not very good on first dates. Why? Do you want to, like, project yourself in a certain way? No, I think it's the worst thing ever. Be if yourself. You I find it hard to do that, like... Really? Yeah, yeah. I was quite a late bloomer. It took me quite a while to start actually speaking. 
And then when I was speaking, I was, they called it John language. I call my toes curtains. Oh, Because they can open and close. <laughs> oh my God, perfect. Genius, Gerald, I think. I was clearly seeing things in a different way. I did go and get tested and <laughs> the results came back as uh, John's not engaging with anyone. <laughs> I used to, like, be attached to random objects until I was, like, seven or eight. I had a tennis racket I'd just go around with everywhere, I'd sleep with my spade. <laughs> the spade was huge, like, the spade was like a proper spade. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. yeah, I think that's drastically affected my ability to talk to girls, but I'd like to think that I'm, um, I I'm not in need of a spade anymore. <laughs> One thing you are going to be like, what the hell? I can't smell or taste anything. <laughs> what did you do? I went to a pool party and then fell off of some table. Bloody hell. So I, I just slipped off. And um, you hit your head? I just fell so hard on the back of my head that it hit the olfactory nerve. And ever since then, I can't smell or taste anything. Like, I've done everything to try and get it back. Literally chopping off the garlic cloves, I'm like, chopping them up my nose, I'm <laughs> like, it, and then I'm like, no, this actually hurts. You do get pleasure from food. Also things like memories, like a smell of someone, but like, you can't let it get you, because otherwise, every day I'll be depressed. Good? That smells great, by the way, just so you know, it smells great. You're like equally as weird as me. I'm definitely weird enough. <laughs> I'm trying to be nervous. I know most people are trying to calm down. I'm actually trying to be nervous because I don't actually do nerves. <laughs> I have been told for many, many years that I have very strong character that some people just don't want to cope with. And I would like to meet a woman who's similar to me. This awful word that people use and saying they're looking for companionship makes it feel so old. You know, I'd love to fall head over heels in love with a woman, etc. Slinking her way into the first date's restaurant is 61-year-old divorcee and English teacher, Julie. How are you? <laughs> That's quite an entrance. I'll go for the advice my son gives me whenever I'm going out on a date. He said, Mum, be yourself, but less of yourself. I do outdoor swimming. I love my circuits classes. Always doing something. Haven't got ADHD either or overactive thyroid gland, even though every new doctor I ever go to looks at my eyes and says, have you got overactive thyroid gland? I'm going to take you through right now. Thank you. This way. I like romance. I'm too young to settle for companionship. I like to be funny, but I want to be attractive and funny. <laughs> Mwah. 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 How nice to meet you. How nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Julie. I'm Ali. <laughs> Are you nervous? No, no, no. I'm um, excited. Hello. Well, what would you like? Now, now, before we start, what do you like about sharing your food? I am no problem. Because I like to taste everything, you know. I'm going to have oysters for starters. Oh, yeah, yeah I love that, yes. Right, so, I just, no, but I see <laughs> the energy of this you table. Have to keep... Could I have um, a glass of red wine and a glass of tap water, please? Of course, you can. I have a grey goose on ice yeah. with a slice of lime, nothing else. A chunk of lime rather than just a slither, if okay. you know what I mean. Yeah. Please, so I can squeeze some of no, the juice. No, you drink, do <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. I like somebody's thing. That's what I like. You've got lovely eyes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I've got these pants on called Spanx. You don't know it, but you see, I look really, really slim, don't I? You see? And these all hold me in. You're quite a character, aren't you? I'm also highly embarrassing sometimes. Yeah, but I can do embarrassing. You can do embarrassing. Yeah, I can do embarrassing. But you, you're capable of getting me kicked out of anywhere. <laughs> oh, hey, wow. Don't you 
you go having all my oysters no, without I'm giving me any of your prawns? I'm having two. No, you can have three. No, 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 no. you no, can have four. They're quite big. I <laughs> I've been married three times. Oh, bloody hell. No, hold on. Serial. Oh, no, no, I'm going no, no, out. No, no, three no. times? Divorced twice, and there's only one woman involved. You married the same woman twice. And then we got divorced, and then we got remarried two years later. I'm assuming you've been married. Oh, of course. I had a lovely, a lovely married life, really yeah. nice, but not anymore. He went off with somebody else. About 11 years ago, he bogged off with a younger model. So you've only been married once? Yes. And never again? Well, never You'd rather seen. not? I'd rather not. I was gutted. You pictured your life one way, and suddenly you realised, ah, oh, it wasn't going to go that way. It took away my confidence. I failed at something, haven't I? Nobody likes failing at something. How I express my vulnerability, I don't think people would know that. I want to appear strong. I've done dirty socks and underpants. I've done all that. I like romance. Oh, good. I don't really want to get up and see a woman in pink pyjamas sitting on the floor painting her toenails. Women always start with agent provocateur uh, underwear, etc., and you always end up with Kermit the Frog pyjamas. Yeah, third division knickers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a coffee? Yeah, I'll have an espresso, please. Go. Sure. Yes, the only way to have a coffee. Can you taste uh, anything? No. I can feel things. Can you guess which steak you have? Close your eyes. What? If you close your eyes, would you be able to guess which steak? Let's do the test then. Okay, you ready? Go. Cool. Right. I'm, I'm, I am aiming for your mouth. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> you can open it's your one. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Yours is medium rare. And you know that? I know about the texture. I think I fancied her after, like, five, ten minutes of chatting. But I will do it to you. But in general, I just think I have flopped it. Classic John on a first date, just, like, just crumbling a little bit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was a test. Bastard. I have no idea what that one was. <laughs> See, life is not about chasing. <laughs> you alright? Hello. Hello, good evening. Thanks, Red. Yeah. Bye. Thanks, Bye -bye. Red. Would you like to go on another date? We answer together, separate. Um, ladies first, I think. Uh, we're going for a drink. Go for a drink. Let your hair down, John. Let my hair down. <laughs> Usually on the first date. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, yeah, I think I fancied you because you're definitely weird, so. <laughs> you're, like an, you're like an intelligent idiot, <laughs> like me. So I thought, oh, I thought I'd like to see you again. <laughs> I think, as you said, you're terrible on first dates. Like, you are, like, mm. really bad on first thank dates. You, thank you. But just be yourself because I wouldn't have been able to judge at all how you felt about me. Anywhere with alcohol, I think. Any, no, any rooftop bar. Outside. Rooftop, rooftop. Yeah. Thank you. How are you? I'm oh, okay, thanks. I'm really scared. I feel like a jellyfish. Deep breath. <sighs> what can I get you to drink? Can I have a Long Island iced tea, please? <laughs> this is Casino Croupier Charlie. She's a dab hand on the roulette wheel. But when it comes to her love life, all bets are off. What do you do? I'm a croupier. Wonderful. Do you gamble? No. So no. it's the first thing they teach you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. House always wins. <laughs> Here you'll find the guest always wins. I'm going to hold you to that. I want to find love. I've got so much love to give. Honestly, I have. And of course I want to get married. I'm a girl still. I might be a lesbian, but I'm still a girl. <laughs> <sighs> the hot lesbians stick with other hot lesbians. You know, the girly ones stick with girly ones, and you know, I want, I want, I want one of them. <laughs> what sort of type of lady are you looking for? Somebody that stands out to me, just edge, I think. All right. Life experience, maybe as well. Yeah. Sexy. Exactly. Got to have sex appeal, right? Got to have sex appeal. Cutting edge fashion designer Tanya is looking for a special lady in her life to make her dreams a reality. 
my celebrity crush, crushes, I'm allowed to, Cara Delevingne and Kristen Stewart. They're girly, you know, they've got the long flowing hair and they're really pretty, but they've both got a little edgy, tomboyish dress to them. But then they can just glam up and be the hottest ever. Oh, just give me a minute. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Very good. What's your name, please? Tanya. You need two people sometimes. Paella. You can only order that if it's two people. Then m and dine in for two. Can't do that. <laughs> this is why I need to find somebody. Hi, yes. Hi, thank you. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Charlie. I'm Tanya. Tanya? Yes. Hi. Oh, gosh. Do you need a drink? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you drinking? Uh, Long Island iced tea. Ooh. <laughs> it's my favourite. Yeah. Can I take one more at Long Island, please? <laughs> I'm a real lightweight. Are you? Yeah. The last time I got drunk, I went out with my friend. Yeah. We decided to drink every cocktail on the menu. So it's only about seven. Twice. And um, we took a long walk home and I actually laid down on the street. Good form. Laid down. Okay, I've done that, it's yeah. okay. Oh, you've already <laughs> great. Okay. And that and it's, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Okay, last time I did this I picked it up and it went all over my dress, so we'll just like do it with two hands. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Lift your glass. Ah! <laughs> that was really cute. Where did that come from? Quite sexy with your hair ruffled up. Do that again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not good with compliments. That's great. Sorry, 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 sorry. You are quite different from anybody I have ever been out with. Let's be honest. Oh, because they're all um, uh, English and boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're different because you're Iranian. I think. This is a bit exotic. <laughs> Would you guys like to see each other again? Shall I go first? <laughs> well, you're a woman, it's your prerogative. <laughs> yes, I would love to see him again, yes. <laughs> well, no, you're supposed to give me a kiss now. Right. Of course I'd see her again. Are you sure? <laughs> what? I've, Are you I've, sure? I've, I've got gone. too much for you. Darling, no one is too much for me. It's a question of whether I'm too much for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have a good afternoon and don't be naughty. Uh, now, what was it about you I liked? Just remind me. My charm, charm. my good look, <laughs> my sense of humour, my confidence. Conf yeah, your confidence, you know, your bossiness, you know. You told me, you put me in my place and I love that. I love that. Yes, it was, it was all... It was all lovely. Hello there, you alright? Yeah, fine, thank you. Hi. Hello there. I would ask you how your date went, but I drove past you around the corner, he's wearing a good old snook. <laughs> 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 thank you. I'm gonna cut mine up first and then smash it up. <laughs> To be fair, I eat salad pretty much every day of my life. I normally eat an iceberg lettuce a day, yeah. Really? You know your way around yeah, the lettuce? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I do. <laughs> oh, God. I think I'm blushing. And probably blush, too. <laughs> you <laughs> Let's make him blush again. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> There's a lot of love in the room. It's making me quite rouge. I think I can make you red. You reckon you can make me blush? Definitely, I've done that a lot of times anyway. Shut up, all right, come on, bring it. No, hang on, I'm cool, I'm cool. I'd have to say something really rude that would probably be too rude. I'm calm, I'm collected. Batman. 100%. You're going more yeah, red than me. Do it. You're I'm thinking trying. things I'm going to say. <laughs> now I'm going red because no, you're going to push it on you. There we go, no, it won't. I didn't even say anything, I just push it on you. Do you have brothers and sisters? I have just one brother. Yeah. And he has a little boy mm. who I absolutely love to bits. Like, I have a really small family. Just, it's just me and my little sisters, and that's it. Um, 
I lost my mum last year and it, it was just a, kind of like an eye-opener in the sense that we need to start building the family again, like... Do you mind me asking, like, what kind of, like... How... Yeah, yeah, I mean... Like, she, she committed suicide. It doesn't take away from the fact that she was a great woman and she was a great mum. Yeah. And um, she held on as long as she possibly could. I lost my mum in April last year. Um, she uh, hung herself at home. Um, yeah, my little sister found her. Yeah, it was, um, it was really hard when I got that phone call. Um, it's weird because I had a missed call off my little sister's phone and I don't know why, but some, something, I just knew. I don't know, that sounds crazy, right? But I just knew. I'm sad and I miss her and yeah. sometimes, you know, I was angry at her, but... But really and truly, she was gone a long, long time before that. She just felt like she needed to be somewhere else. When something brutal like that happens, you just, you have to detach yourself and kind of let it settle in pieces, bit by bit. I'm not asking for someone to fix me. I'm just asking someone maybe to understand that maybe the way I look at the world isn't the same way as everybody else anymore. She must be immensely proud of you. Oh, do you like, think? Oh, <laughs> I hope so. Absolutely. I really, like, I really, really hope so. Yeah, let's do it. Are you ready? Whoa! <laughs> no, this shirt does not allow me to move. Right, let me try again. You're like a wet sock. Menswear blogger Carl from London is well known for his sartorial style on Instagram. I love posting on Instagram. I love getting that perfect photo. You're looking good. Thank you very much. I like your jacket. <laughs> Coming from you, that's ah. a compliment. 20,000 people want to actually see what I wear. You know, like 20,000 people, that's like a, I don't know, like a town. I love the double-breasted at the moment. Yeah, no, it's nice. It's very uh, classic. Thank you. Good one, man. Enjoy, enjoy a drink. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I heard they're coming back, actually, double-breasted. Yeah. The pearls. And so what's happening with you and dating these days, then? I've been on quite a few dates lately, but nothing really works out, so... Quite elusive, isn't it, though, the, 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 the little thing that people are they're after? Yeah, what is that? It's that innate chemistry, I think. It's, it's, uh, it's trusting your instincts. Yeah. You know? I think I go for the wrong girls. When I'm in bars, I do tend to just gravitate towards the good-looking girl, you know, I'm 35 and they could be 24, 25, 26. And ultimately, even if you have amazing chemistry, it fails because you're just not there. You're both in two different stages of your lives. So what is it you think you want now? I just want someone today who's proper bubbly, has a laugh, but hopefully a little bit of spark. Yeah. That would be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor made for Carl is 28-year-old nurse Marissa, who's not into the clean-cut look. My biggest turn on is facial hair. I just absolutely love it. I don't often even go on first dates with guys who don't have facial hair. <laughs> oh la la. How are you? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I like quite manly looking men, but with quite pretty faces. Hi, hello, I'm How are you? Marissa. Hello. How are you doing? Good, nice to meet oh, yeah, you. Nice to meet you. You look lovely. You smell very nice. Thank you. I like what you're wearing. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. So what is it you do? I'm a school nurse. It's a lot of like teaching kids how to lead healthier lives. Sometimes I worry that I'll never find the one. Guys haven't always been kind to me in the past, so it, I, I definitely would lo love to meet a kind person. So what do you do? I have a menswear business and also do blogging on the side, wearing other people's clothes and writing about it. Coming up with uh, ways to talk about a white t-shirt sometimes can be quite <laughs> difficult. I can imagine. <laughs> this is a white t-shirt. It's <laughs> very seasonal. <laughs> cool. Right, can I dig it yes, absolutely. absolutely. Take a drink. Yeah. Don't rush, don't rush. I know, I won't run it. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to get it over too soon. <laughs> Like, what do you find to be, like, the difference in being with a man, being with a woman, like, I guess... I guess, like, sexually and stuff? The way, like, a woman touches you is so different from the way a man touches you. 
feel like she's really thinking about the way her touch feels on me. And that turns me on. So, with a girl, I don't think I've ever, ever had bad sex with a girl. Ever. Pressure? <laughs> As always, I'm just checking to see how everything's going. Can you tell the chef the lettuce was absolutely beautiful? <laughs> I'm um, enunciated it exactly the same way as her. Do you think she's sexy? Very sexy, yeah. Oof. Is there something I don't know about lettuce? Yeah. Mm. Lady bits. I'll get this. No, I'll pay. You can get breakfast. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Does that mean I'm bald? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay. So, would you two like to see each other again for another date? We're having breakfast. We're having breakfast? You said breakfast. <laughs> I said I'll we're get breakfast. We're having breakfast. Yeah, we're going to get breakfast. We're going to get breakfast. A breakfast. That's the answer. That's the answer. And that's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. Mm hmm <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Ciao. Bye. I don't want to sound patronising or anything, because yeah. I have only had dinner with you, but okay. I think you're, like, really... Um, Amazing and like a really strong, really sweet, good person. See, she's <laughs> lovely, isn't she? <laughs> she's great. This way. <laughs> it's not my own knees. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Bye. Hello. I hate bananas. I beg your pardon. Bananas? <laughs> you hate them? I have a little bit of a phobia of them. Sorry, shall I move that? <laughs> no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. That's, that's far enough away. OK. There's not one good thing about a banana. There isn't. OK. What a great menu. So I'm going to go for the octopus and the monkfish. I love monkfish. Yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> what about the sides? Uh, I'm not going to eat spinach. I never eat spinach on a first date. <laughs> I will tell you if you've like got broccoli. spinach in your teeth. Can you tell Yeah, I will me? tell you, I promise. When was your last relationship? Um, about six months ago. That's quite. That's not too long ago. I kind of decided the next person I wanted to be with was going to be like special and the one I wanted to be with forever. I don't think we was in the same kind of space in our life. Where was she? She was a lot younger. How young? 24. Okay. You know, you, you find someone who you've got so much in common with and you open up and you, you, you kind of, you let someone in to be let down, it's tough. I, <laughs> yeah, I give everything in a relationship. It's, you know, clearly it's, Oh, I just need a second. Sorry. Was she pretty? Yeah, she was pretty. Like you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've been in lots of sort of, I don't know, two, three month things. This is what generally happens. The guy usually says to me, I'm just not looking for anything serious. And they get that I am. If I'm dating someone that I really, really like, when I'm with them, I'll make it very clear that I love their company. I'd like to hold their hand in restaurants, like I'm an absolute hopeless romantic. And I think sometimes men can be scared off by that. Like, OK, so there was this one guy who decided to move to Cairo. I found out that he knew this the entire time we were dating. Like, things were getting pretty serious. And then, a month later, just before he moved, he texted me asking me if I fancied a threesome with him and a girl he was then seeing. I'm surprised you're actually on a date after that sort of experience. I've had shitty experiences. 
Massively. Massively. I'm not going to be like that. Do you want a hug? Yeah, I'd like a hug. Come on. It's OK. <laughs> I love it when two people are so completely engrossed with each other that even on a date, they can't resist a little canoodle. Thank you for my hug. Can I just kick you? No, I just play for uh. <laughs> Imagine if we were sat next to each other rather than opposite like each other. OK. Oh. And suddenly, like, your legs rested on you're like, oh. Yeah, I, I would... Should I move? <laughs> Me and you are going to get along just fine. Your foot's touching or yeah. your knee's touching like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like that little small bit of contact yeah. that catches you off guard. You might have lots in common, but it's only when the chemistry is sizzling that friends can turn into lovers. This is Josh. He's come to the First Aid's restaurant to take a firm grip on his love life. What's up? Are you looking for a... For a guy, a girl today? Uh, for a girl. For a girl? Yes. Absolutely. Cool. Sorry, I often get that wrong. It's, it's what am I doing? <laughs> Some women like manly men. I know I'm not, I'm not one of them. Maybe I need to be not so nice. <laughs> I was thinking of... I, I couldn't think of a... I was thinking of a dick. I was going to say dick, but I, could, I thought I can't say that. <laughs> so tell me, sort of woman... She's got to be very outgoing. There's just got to be, like, no awkward silences. Like a, a good friend. Josh's date is graduate recruitment coordinator Tammy. She's fed up of being third wheel. In terms of boyfriends, relationships, you're hoping somebody likes you, but they always seem to like your friend. So <laughs> I am often the gooseberry. I've now been single for six years, been on three dates. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Hello, how are you? Hello. Good, Good afternoon. How are you? Good, thank you. What's your name, please? Tammy. Tammy, great. It would be nice to have somebody that has been a bit shy in the past and suddenly coming out of themselves and getting to a point where I am. Josh. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Tammy. Josh. Josh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. How are good. you? Good. Yeah, I'm all right, thanks. Good. What do you do, then? So I was in uh, in product management. Oh wow! And unfortunately, I got made redundant quite recently. Oh, so, right. uh... Do you want a drink? Yeah, yeah. Can I grab a glass of rosé, please? Yeah. I don't. I'm not much of a wine drinker, but if I was going to go for wine, it, it would be wet rosé. Okay. Yeah, in general, it was beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm definitely, definitely can't drink a beer. It's quite a manly drink, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, cheers. Cheers. What have you done here, look? You've made a right mess. <laughs> <laughs> Do you go to the gym? I'm not a gym buff ever. Me, me, me too. I used to. <laughs> I'd slide over once to build up a bit. I went for like six months, taking protein shakes, did like 100 press ups a day. It didn't make a difference. If you were playing a game of football, you wouldn't tell your opponent your weaknesses are half time. Dating is just the same. So go out there, believe in yourself, and you might just score the winner. So how long single for? Six years. Do you know what? That's less than me. Okay. <laughs> I've been single for eight years. Okay. My parents do say, well, why are you still single? Why are you not meeting anyone? Um, and my, my reply is, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying, but... You're never going to like absolutely everybody that you... Like, if people just walked in and were like, yeah, absolutely love them, it would be so easy to date. Of course. It's not easy to date. <laughs> I guess it feels quite kind of sad that in my 31 years on this planet, not, not to have been loved before, there is that one thing missing, which is someone who I can love. So, have you ever been in love before? No. Never. I've only had one relationship, and he dumped me on Facebook. Oh, no. <laughs> That's horrible. I would never do that. 
Some guys are such dicks, aren't they? <laughs> I'm going to admit, I've either forgotten your name or I never even asked oh it Oh my goodness, I'm so place. pleased you said that because I forgot your name. <laughs> Going, what, what's your name? Tell me. I'm Josh. Josh. Do you have any nicknames at all? I've been Little T. Um, I got bullied quite a lot mm. by people that I thought were my friends. Mm. I really remember one day, I was in a playground, I think we were playing like some form of hide and seek or something silly. And I got a cobweb on the back of my jumper. And I got called cobweb for quite a number of years. My escape was always dancing. And really just, just do something that I loved um, and something outside of school and it was just focused on me. And I could just have fun with it. That's what I loved. Dealing with that has then brought my own personality back out again. Can't um. dance to save my life. <laughs> <laughs> I think most guys are the same. Yeah. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> a really big part of my life. I do a lot of meditation. Have you meditated before? No. So you close your eyes really deeply until your lungs are completely full. Out through your mouth. <laughs> You're not doing it? No, I was. But it just kind of made me laugh. Sorry. Just focus on the breath, nothing else, just the breath. OK. Breathe out. How is that for you? Wow. Yeah, right? How do you feel now? I must be, I do feel calmer. Maybe you should have done this at the start when I was really nervous. I didn't know you were nervous. No, I was very nervous. You're so pretty and... Pretty? Kind of, yeah. Oh, thank so you. Lovely. You're lovely. you very pretty. I mean, handsome. No, pretty's fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, so I've got the dessert menu here. So we've got a chocolate sphere. Yeah. It comes with rice and popping candy. It's quite fun, like. Pop, pop, pop. We have got a banana split. No? I have a favour of bananas. Really? Yes, I hate bananas. Why? Well, I know nothing's going to happen when I see a banana. They stink. They taste disgusting. They have a horrible... Bananas are my breakfast this morning, <laughs> Would you not try a banana? Never. Really? Never. No, I wouldn't even be near a banana. I'm absolutely fine with other phallic objects such as cucumbers. I am absolutely terrified of snakes. Yeah. The only thing I've always said about my phobia is at least I'm scared of something that could potentially kill me. Yeah, <laughs> a banana couldn't kill me. Basically, no. <laughs> Would you like to go on another date? Ladies first. Um, I... No, I don't think so. <laughs> I thought exactly the same. I thought exactly the same. So, That's good. Good. yeah. It's lovely good to night. meet you. Take care, friends. I think I'm really looking for more of a guy's guy. A manly man. Yeah. <laughs> Which is not me. I, I understand that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hope you have a safe journey home. Everyone has their own time. I can't help who I am. Hopefully, um, someone will appreciate me for that. Earlier I had a table who was scared of bananas. That's an irrational fear, isn't it? What are you scared of? Being alone in the dark. Spiders. I am terrified of spiders. <laughs> I don't like being chased in the woods. Chased in the woods? What still yeah, game is no. that? <laughs> Do you kiss on first dates? Generally, no. Why do you? 
I don't know. I think on the first date, kissing is quite important. I just think kissing is quite an intimate thing. Yeah, exactly. Then if you have a little kiss, you might realise you like them a bit more than you think. He's really sweet. <laughs> He's really sweet and really nice and really lovely and really hot. And I just wasn't expecting that sort of combination. I feel really emotional. <laughs> Sorry. Would you rather kiss or hold hands? Kiss. Holding hands is like extra intimate. Yeah. Holding hands is like second date. And then third date? <laughs> <laughs> she's perfect. She walked in, she lightened up the room, she's amazing, she's intelligent, she's fun, right up my street. Head to toe, amazing. I love your voice. It's really, like really smooth. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's possibly the first time anyone's ever said that. Hello. Yeah. How are you? you right? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, good. Good. <laughs> are you going to see each other again? Yes. I'd love to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, me too. Yeah? I said yes. Oh, good, good. I was like, yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay, I'd love to see you again. I'd love to see you again. Yeah, I had a really good time. Me too. I just felt really at ease with you and had a really lovely night. Oh, good. Exciting. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. You can feel sort of like 50 50 about someone, then you kiss someone and it's like really shitty. And that's like a deal breaker. We didn't kiss properly. No. <laughs> kiss me, for fuck's sake. That was so nice. <laughs> that was such a good kiss. That was so nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really lovely kiss. That was a really good kiss. Should we go. Yeah. <laughs> Can we kiss again? Yeah. I'm not. not <laughs> oh. Thanks. It's an amazing date. <laughs> That's such a good night. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Shall we go? There we go. Let's go. So, um, quite a lot of successes tonight. Yeah. 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 yeah, it felt good. Oh, yeah, that's what like, it felt nice.